Good evening and welcome to another exciting episode of Sports Federation TV. I'm Elton Davids, I'm your host. And tonight we've got uh, Langa Sports Club and Sports Associations in the spotlight. And we'll also be catching up with the victorious young women's golf team that won at the Interprovincial Championships earlier this year. But right now we join the studio by Zam. Good evening, Zam. How are you? Yes, I'm fine, man. No problem with myself. No problem. Yeah, it's okay. Thank you. It's okay. Lungi, welcome. Yeah, good to be here, Alton. Thanks for having me here, man. Thanks for coming. Huh? Tell us firstly, where's Langa? People don't know where Langa is, maybe. Lungi, where's Langa? Um, it's, in, it's in Central, according okay. to our demographics. It's called right. Central Metro, uh -huh. which is surrounded by Pontyville, Epping, Industria, Pinelands, and um, Athlon. Um, it's, uh, it's in the middle of the highway. It's right by the highway, by the airport. You come from the airport, international travelers go past Langa every day. Every day, yeah. every day. Zim, what happens in Langa? Give us an overview of what kind of sports are played in Langa. Hey, at Langa we've got everything, man. Uh, we've, got, we've got cricket, we've got hockey, we've got soccer, we've got uh, rugby, uh, we've got uh, boxing. Nika is back now. Mm -hmm. uh, we've got karate, we've got netball. We've got different sports. Okay. Where they play the major role in the township. So, so talking about this major role, what has, what has sport done in Langa? What's the role of sport in, in a community like yours? Ah, a community like us. It, 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 it has played one of the major ones because uh, Langa today is one of the ambassadors of the country. Because since Cape Town is the world capital design, and Langa is the hub of that world capital design, mm -hmm. and throughout, throughout our sportmen and our sport ladies, uh, the, the Langa guys in the map, you know, the map is there. Everybody wants to be involved in sport because of one thing: sport is one of the best, the best vehicle to combat crime. Yeah, absolutely. So, so now, what's your involvement in Langa sport? Where do you fit into Langa sport? What code are you involved in? Uh, I'm involved, I grew up at Langa, playing soccer and then playing cricket. Both two, both a must sport, but most now, now I'm involved a lot in, 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 in cricket. We're uplifting the standard, you know, producing better quality players, producing small and entrepreneurs. So, so are you producing better quality players in the cricket field? Uh, in the cricket field, I mean, if you look the trend, or if you look the legends of the Langa Cricket Club, you now we talk about the late Ben Malamba. We talk about uh, we talk about the founder member of the Langa Cricket Club, Mr. Ngumbini. He's one of the legend, and he's one of the guys who have played the major role on uplifting the standard of the cricket and the quality best players. Because throughout Mr. Ngumbini and John Pasmo, maybe Langa Cricket Club won't be where it is today and maybe Langa Red Club won't produce the professional players that we do have and uh, Langa Red Club the recent now we've got run about four semi-pros oh yeah. and where do they are they still based in the club or are they moved on to 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 more competitive clubs uh two of them they're still on the club mm -hmm. And then the other ones that are in, 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 in Johannesburg, trading out on that side. Okay. What's the facility like? Is it, uh, do you, do you also find a problem that there's a problem with facilities or not really? Yes, we do have, yes, we do have the problem with facilities because our facilities, it is not us who runs our facilities, it's the city of Cape Town. And sometimes we find that it is not even in a, in a, in a, in a good playing you know, conditions whereby that we could play or maybe that we could produce a better quality players. And there's one thing that we, 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 we salute and we thankful. Cricketers A have played the major role identifying Langa Trade Club as the hub. Because throughout those players who have made around the country producing and still playing a lot of cricket. That's why Cricketers A have identified us to be the hub, and we're still working a lot because one of the one one of the best coaches in this country, Sakele Simon, he's back from 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 Durban. He used to coach Natal B. Okay. Now he's back. He's doing a lot. 
Sakele, Pim, those are the legends of the of the cricket. Mm. Okay. Lungs, you don't play cricket. You play something else. I do try to play cricket. Okay. And oh, uh, but uh, my major role is hockey. Yeah. Okay. So so Langa is a, as a, as a, as, a, as a strong hockey club as well. Yes, we we've managed to to have a strong hockey club since um, the late Bob Bomer. Yeah. Um, started the hockey there. Hold on, Bob Oma was was involved in cricket. How does he get he involved in, 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 in hockey? Yeah, funny enough, um, one of the guys told me the story about uh, Bob. <laughs> um, he started cricket when he, he was a he was a development officer at Western Province Cricket back in the day, um, um, pre-apartheid days. Um, he started cricket, and then he was doing cricket at Langa and at Avondale. And one time, I think it was season was finished. He had was working for Western Province Hockey as well, as a development officer okay. there. So he had hockey sticks, guys have never played hockey. So he took all the cricket guys that do play, um, that do play cricket and said, guys, I've got these. Um, gave guys sticks and from there it just started. Guys okay. were starting to play hockey, they started hockey from there. Then hockey still started in Langa. Because in the old days, I mean, s soccer, hockey was pure winter sports. Yeah. Yes. And, and, and then the, tra the, the transverse of that would be, in summer would be the cricket, the cricket. and athletics. Yes. Yeah. That's how it was. Yeah. So if effectively you had a, a, a sitting duck, people wanting to do something yes. and get kids off the street. Yeah, yes, you, we, you've, got, you've got rugby, that which some players are not interested in. Mm. And you, if you notice the trends in our townships, the people that are interested in sports like rugby would be your Eastern Cape based players that are have moved to, to Cape Town. Yeah. But okay. like your your regular guy who's grown up in Cape Town, they we're not we're not really big on rugby. It's either we play soccer or we play cricket. W why would that be? Is there any any theories around that? <laughs> do, do we need to do research on this? I mean this is an interesting fact. Uh, yeah. <laughs> no ways, man, because the problem is that uh, everybody's got his own choice. Because some, 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 as, as, as Lungel have told you, some guys, you know, they love, they love the rugby. You know, like, 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 like my father, my father used to play, used to play rugby. And I didn't want to play rugby. It was soccer and, and, and rugby. For us, it, 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 it's got its own impact. Because one thing is that if you're not playing rugby, you're playing hockey. Mm. If you're not playing hockey, you're playing soccer. But in summer, you'll play cricket. And it makes everything easier because we understand one another. And those three major sports, or those four major sports, are the ones who make the FMC. And it, it, it works very, very well. Mm. Because it, it, is, it is how to recruit. And it is how to keep the children from the streets. Because everything is it's happening at the Langa Stadium. And then everything, it starts there, it ends there. There's life there. It's vibrant. Okay, so Langa Stadium is where it's happening. Is the hockey field there as well? Yes. Um, thanks, to the, thanks to the city of Cape Town and people that have been involved in getting that field um, at a cost of more than six million. So it's night. an astro. It's not it's an, an astro. It's a, proper, it's, it's a proper hockey field we've had. Okay. Um, we've had, we s they finished it last year. We opened it this year. And it's the first time in a black township that does have a hockey attitude that's dedicated for hockey wow. in the country, which is for us it was a was a dream that um, even Bob has actually quoted in one of in um, in one of his articles mm. that he, it's his dream one day to have um, such a sport to be competitive in the township and making sure that it's run by the township by by the people in the township that do play it. How how has that impacted the community having having an astro turf as opposed to a grass pitch? Yeah, well, first things first, um, we don't have to travel to play quality hockey. We don't have to travel to Bishops, Bishops, um, Bishops um, High School, Boys School, which has helped us for the last number bucket of years. They've, they've been able to give us their the field yep. for free. Wow. And at night, which means we have to switch on the lights. Mm. And that's an expensive exercise. Which and is then it's still the transport that goes with it. the transport that goes with it. Mm. And... Um, for that, like bishops have played a massive role in, in actually keeping Langa in the loop. If, if we didn't have that option, we could, there's a possibility that we couldn't have afforded to go hire a field at Hartleyville for 400 rand a, a night, at twice a, twice a week. 
and if we don't can't afford it for twice a week, we might play once a week, and then that means we don't play in the top league that we are playing in at the moment. So, in the the impact it has in the community, it's it's a, it's a it's a walk away. So now we've we've got kids that are that are going to the Astro Turf knowing that they're going to play in this kind of surface that they see um, other players playing it. So it's a, it's it's much easier. It's 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 motivating and it's it's just there to be to be used. Excited. On that exciting note, let's take a short ad break and when we come back, we'll catch up with uh, Zam and Lungi and we'll chat more about Langa Sports. See you now. <laughs> this is Sports Federation TV. We're chatting Langa Sport and in the spotlight, we have the Cricket Club and we have the Hockey Club. Lungi, you, you touched on the fact that there's an, a now an AstroTurf. And, and how has that, you've, you've, you've told us how that has impacted people's lives. So what level of hockey is being played in Langa? Um, we are we are playing in the in the top league in the in the Western Cape in the Western Cape League, where we're playing with the likes of Stellenbosch University, UCT, Western Province Cricket Club, the Pinelands, um, uh, you name them. So we're playing in the topest league that that there is we can play in. Okay, and 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 other than the league, what what who and what has excelled in hockey in Langa? Tell us a bit about you. Is where I'm going. Okay. I mean you've now a product of success in Langa? Yeah, it's um it's a combination it's a combination of, of people around me, like the the Zamilas, the, the all the guys who who've been there and the, the, the school I went to, the, the, the transition that I've I've taken. I've been I started playing at Langa. Then when Langa wasn't playing in the in the top league as the first team, I moved to Central Hockey Club where I played with the Bruce Jacobs, with the Marvin Bams and Neil Davids, all the guys who were playing in the national team at that time. And um, it it took me. Then I had to move to to Pretoria. As, I mean, there's a lot of sacrifices that that have to be made when you when you want to reach that dream. Because my dream was the Olympic Games, 2008. And did you reach that dream? Yes, I did reach that goal. Um, I reached that goal, and it's and after after that, you you kind of look back and you think to yourself, that's that's done. But uh, you actually, after that, I told myself, after 2008, I, I wanted to go back to, to Langa, Cape Town, and make sure that we, one of the clubs, the best clubs in the country to be reckoned with, as in the township club that you won't get a, you won't get a lot of hockey township clubs around. Mm. So I think that's my pride and joy at the moment. As I wanna, that's my next dream to say, to say there's gonna be another black player that comes from Langa that is the best player ever. That's better than Lungi Tsolegil or Tami Tsolegil who've played for, for the national team before. Yeah. <laughs> what was it like playing at the Olympics? Deepest. It was uh, a lot of groupy moments. You, you, get a, you get a lot of... There's, a, there's so much vibe around it that people take so much time to actually get into the groove of the reality that they have to compete. Yeah. Um, you, you come across Ronaldinho, you come across Lionel Messi and you in the same dining hall. And um, it's it's that kind of it's that kind of situation where you can't. It's like so like I've, before I went to Olympics, a couple of guys would tell you about Olympics, but you'd be like, oh, it's amazing. But until you actually go there, it's something else. It's it's indescribable. But uh, other than the Olympics, I mean, you've not stepped. You now you you've come out of the national team, but you've right. you've been there for a good number of years. Mm. How do you manage to maintain that high level? It's a it's a lot of self discipline. It's a lot of it's a lot of training, and with uh, with a bunch of guys that we we have played with in the team, it's we, we we keep on training with each other. Like every Wednesday at the moment, we train we train with the Western Province squad, the stronger guys who are potential national players. We train every Wednesday together, and in that sense, we tend to push each other. And once we when we do have a k training camp. Um, we we push it other hard and the guys go there, they'd be nervous. Yeah, we haven't been training now, I haven't done much and you think to yourself, guys have been training yeah. but they just wanna keep that card on the down low. So yeah. everyone starts pushing and they see people are moving and they'd be like, ah, let's let's push harder. So the secret's out now, you just tell you just blasted the secret, everybody. No, it's not it. secret. <laughs> it's not secret. I'm like one of the older guys in the team and so every <laughs> all the guys get nervous about it, like camp. Everyone gets nervous yeah. about camp and the fitness tests and yeah, like you, you get to a stage where I've just embraced that uh, I don't worry about that. Yeah. 
you just have to run and until you, you have to run until you, you can't run anymore. Give us a short snippet of what the training camp is like, because mo most of us don't know what the national training camp is about. So our training camps are usually cramped um, due to, to funds and knowing hockey is not a, not a massively financially strong um, sport. We, we sometimes we train twice a day, three times a day, and um, we, we do a lot of running, we do a lot of stick work, and some guys, if you're not used to it, you come, you, you'd come home with a couple of blisters, um, sore gluteus, <laughs> some sore glutes, hamstrings, quads. It's a, it's, hockey camps are, are just flat out training. It's just flat out physical, and you, you do get naked. You are, you are done after a training camp. Mm -hmm. If you're not done after training camp, then you weren't training at the training camp. Okay. So, um, in, in Langa, do you have that kind of mentality as well for guys to push hard? Yes. Yeah, because uh, as you can see now, at least, uh, we've, we've produced some of the great players. And we're also we're producing the young ones, you know, from the hockey side. Because at least we want to have, let's say, like within the space of 2018, we must have another Springbok players, maybe run up at six, representing the township and keep that momentum. Mm. Because that's where everything that we could see that there is something because you have to because you have to have the benchmark. And and, and having having a role model like Lungi involved in the hockey club, um, that must that must already lift the, the spirits to for people to push that they can touch and feel a South African hero. <laughs> it was the youngsters, you know. Whenever, whenever, uh, whenever he's busy with them, because he's the person that he loves to do the basic stuff first. Mm -hmm. Sticks on basics, it makes everything easier. Because whenever let's like his coaching, most of the boys that are there, because they know hockey doesn't start anyway. It starts on the basics. Mm -hmm. They enjoy to be with him. And and from a cricket side, what's the the, the, the mentality like? Is there heroes there that comes through that people can? Look up to, yeah. Because uh, when 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 Tommy, when Tommy Temba Malus, uh, Smetu, you know, they're back. Everybody could see because on the twenty on the twenty eighth of December, Langerkirk Club uh, will be having a, 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 a games where those games will be start by the clinics. All the pros, they'll be back. And then they'll do the, the, the clinics. And then after that, all those pros, they'll pick their own teams. Okay. And then we'll play a six side. It's a fun day. Yeah. You know, mm. it's a big, yeah. You know, it's a fun day for Lang and all those mm. things. That people that they could come and see, you know, they are pros that they are back. And we want to do this each and every, each and every year that the young ones, they must, they mustn't see them on TV because, uh, even Tabo Mgomeni, Tabo he used to play, he used to play, you know, I used to play with him. Yeah. He was a good wicket keeper. He'll be there. Okay. You know, and the Skaba, yeah. he'll be there. You know, uh, Karat Naka, yes, Karat Naka is a friend of Langarkate Club. Yeah. All those guys that, you know, were in the limelight, they'll be there. Mm. And then we'll make everything easier. You invited, Alton. I'm a, I'll, I'll be there, 28th of December. Yes. <laughs> I'll come, I'll come. Lungi. Um, Zama spoke about one, one type of festival. Do you have more of those kinds of things happening in the community on a regular basis? Yes, we do. We, we've, we've got those. Um, at the moment, we've got uh, a few guys. Like we, we try to get the guys, like every single club, any sports club needs money to survive. And all the sports clubs have, have, have people that play affiliation fees. Like some of us players, we've got like five employed players in our, in our hockey club. And that means we have to get those players, the other players that don't work, they have to coach and they have to do those events. So they go to schools, they go to high schools, they go to primary schools and, and do those little, starting those little leagues. With the AstroTurf, it's become easier mm. because you can say, we're going to start a little league, we're going to have it on the AstroTurf, which is easier. Yeah, because y you already got the venue, so now you just need people to come. Yeah. And having clinics regularly then means that you, people get exposed to the sport and the new kids get involved and the level grows because now they pull them up with them to the next level. It's that simple. And, and, and in cricket, how often do you guys in the in the summer season have clinics other than the 28th of December? Uh, we 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 go having clinics because uh, each and each and every each and every end of the month, you know, we're having clinics. 
also we were also thanking Gary Kirsten because Gary Kirsten played a major role in, in, in our clubs whereby he coached our batsmen you know on, on Wednesday and even on Friday okay you no know, having those friends they play the major role no because they, uh, they come from the top uh, the, the top level and then now they're bringing those skills in and, and uplifting the skills so, same as, as Lungi is doing in, yes. in terms of hockey yes where is the, the, the first team playing? And in what league? How high up in the, in the mm. Western Province League are they? Our, high? our first team, yes, uh, had problems, you know, like any club. Yep. Because mm -hmm. each and every club had, had its own rough patch. Yes, we're playing, yes, we're playing on the 1C, you know. On this weekend, we're playing against uh, Belleville South uh, at Belleville, uh, at Belleville South. Okay. And then the next coming week, we're playing against Mitchell's playing. No, we already played Belleville South. So now you just keep it going. Yeah, no, we're playing against Bishop Levis, I'm sorry. Okay. We're playing against Bishop Levis, yes. Okay. Lungi, hockey has now become an almost an all-year sport. Yeah. How do, how, do, how do players maintain that kind that level of fitness all, all year? What's the secret? Um, the secret is to actually, the body does get tired, but the minute you actually tell yourself that you are tired and you just get more tired. So I think most of, most of the players have, have come to to realize that when when hockey season is over, they have that break, but it's, it's usually an active break. Like guys would do, like I do, five k runs, and I'd like to do like duathlons. I'd like to do biathlons, but I, I need to get a bike from you, hopefully. <laughs> um, yeah, so we I, I keep myself fit by doing those small things. Every Saturday, the park run, I do the ten k runs, I do the Cape Town marathon, and and that. So you're not just a hockey player and a pretty face. <laughs> you do other stuff too. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a talented guy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm joking. You won't ask him what else. <laughs> <laughs> He's a family on a TV show. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Azam, why would someone want to participate in sport in Langa? What, what's the benefit for a 10-year-old kid living in a township to be involved in sport and more particularly to be involved in the cricket club in Langa? Here's your opportunity. To <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, it's 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 one of the good things, you know, to be active. Because when you empower a young one, we you are empower a nation. To be in sport, you are safe in most of the things. That's why I promote sports. Good answer, Lungi. Why would anybody in the township want to play hockey or walk in your steps? and be the next South African hockey player coming out of Langa or any township? I think it's, it, it boils down to, to opportunity. Um, besides, sport is a, small, is a small, small, small fragment of what our lives is about as a nation, as, as, as the world that we're living in. Um, at school, you get taught um, how to learn, how to study. You get taught maths. Um, in hockey, in sport, in any sport, when you go to a certain club and join a club or after school, after middle activity, you learn discipline. Discipline in the form of you have to be training every Tuesday and Thursday or Tuesday, Thursday, Wednesday, Thursday. That's a discipline. We, we, to, we teach people routine. Um, if, you, if you play, if you go through, say you want to be a national player, you know you're going to have a goal. If you are 15 or 16, you have that kind of goal, you know you've got four years to work with or five years to work with and you are going to be, whenever you are not in the mood to train, you will look and say, or to do anything, you will look and say, what do I want? I want to be on top, but what do I need to do? I need to climb this ladder. Exactly. So it's, I think it's that, it's that kind of attitude. I think sport is as much as, as good as sport is, but it's just a small fraction of how to, to empower people's lives in and around um, the, the, com the society and the community. And, and sport... Is a, is a community build that brings people together. People come and they watch and yeah. not only participate, but the, the spectators brings, brings unity within the community. Definitely. Gentlemen, thank you for your time. Good luck with what happens in Langa. I look forward to updates of what's happening and what's hot. We're looking forward to seeing you in Langa. <laughs> ah, we'll come. Regularly. Send me the invite. Anytime, you know. You're welcome. You know, send you know me there's the a red carpet for you. Oh, no red carpet. <laughs> Just send me the invite. <laughs> Let's take a short ad break and when we come back, we'll chat women's golf. See you now.